All right, so there was this guy who used to live in McDonough, Georgia. He was a worship leader. He lived there with his wife and his three kids. And he lived this like pretty relatively normal life. Everything was fine. Had that whole white picket fence American dream kind of thing going on. But after a couple of years, he felt this thing just stirring up in his soul. Felt like something wasn't right. He needed to do something more with his life. So after a whole lot of prayer and discussion, he cashed in his entire retirement plan and moved to the small island of Jamaica. So this wasn't just a couple thousand dollars. This was about two hundred thousand dollars that was meant for his you know old age when he gets like sixty. He cashed all that in and moved to Jamaica because he knew that God was calling him there as a missionary for years. And he finally decided to obey. And his wife and his kids were initially very ecstatic about this. They all wanted to move there. But one day, very abruptly, his wife filed for divorce. Now, this news came to him very crazy. He wasn't expecting it, but he still decided to follow his calling. So he took the money from his retirement plan and moved to Jamaica completely by himself and settled in St. Mary, Jamaica, with no clear plan as to what was next. But what he did have was faith and trust. Now, seven years later, Danny Myers lives in Araka Mesa, Jamaica, with his wife, Grace, who is a Jamaican. He lives with no AC and no hot water. Danny runs Spicy Grove Youth Center, which focuses on bringing hope and the love of Christ to the youth and children of Jamaica. Now, I've had the incredible experience of spending seven weeks with Danny Myers, and I can honestly say that he is the craziest person that I have ever met in my life. Now, he will never jump out of an airplane, and he despises cliff jumping, but any man who is willing to sacrifice the comforts of America and cash in his entire retirement for the sake of the gospel is a man who is insane. In his book, Crazy Love, Francis Chan writes that living with faith, that having faith often means doing things that others see as crazy. Something is wrong when our lives make sense to unbelievers. Now, I would add that sometimes our lives don't even make sense to other believers, and that is when the real excitement begins. Danny's whimsical nature is contagious, and his love for God and people is recognized within just a short conversation. Danny taught me that if you want your faith to increase, you may need to do things that require more faith. He has and continues to face many adversities in his life, but a day has never passed without him praising God and sharing laughter with his friends. He understands with great passion that we were designed to be in relationship with both God and other people. His ministry does not end in Spicy Grove. Whether he is in downtown Kingston or in Noonan, Georgia, Danny always finds a way to share the love of Christ with others. Despite his annoying tendencies, which I can tell you that he can sometimes be very annoying, and his type A personality, Danny Myers continues to impact me with his faith and obedience. The world needs people like Danny. Christianity needs people like Danny. Because Jesus did not start a religion, he started a revolution. And it is people like Danny who carry on this revolution. If there is one thing that Danny has taught me, it is to not be afraid of the unknown. Have a little faith. Step out in obedience. Because God often uses our obedience to prepare us for what he has already prepared us for. Sure, the American dream may be nice, but I want to dream like Danny. Only God knows where a little bit of faith and obedience will lead to me in seven years.